A lot of polling places had long lines, but not here. Astronaut Shane Kimbrough is the only American to cast his ballot today from low Earth orbit. He's aboard the International Space Station, about 250 miles above the Earth. The ballots get sent up just like ice cream. <laughs> you, you don't get a freeze-dried ballot. It's all, it's a, it's a little less fun than that. It's all done electronically. Okay, fine. So not like ice cream, but still, the polling place has a pretty sweet view. Fellow astronaut Kate Rubens, who returned to Earth last week, also voted from the ISS. Um, there's actually some uh, fantastic folks on the ground that get me an absentee ballot before I, uh, I launched, and uh, it got sent to my, my home address, and the absentee ballot address is low Earth orbit. Rubens and Kimbrough exercise their rights thanks to a Texas law that allows astronauts, most of whom live in the state when earthbound, to do what NASA calls vote while they float. The county clerk office for whichever county they reside in generates a ballot. It's given to Mission Control who uplink it electronically. The astronauts then get a, a special code from the county clerk office that allows them to access their personal ballot and get sent back down to mission control and then delivered to that county clerk's office. But now, NASA is gearing up to send people all the way to Mars. There's a very good chance that those first crew members that make the trip to Mars, and there's an American among them, they'll be gone during an election season most likely because your trip to Mars is gonna be about the two to three year range. But what happens when people begin to settle Mars permanently? There's a whole world of kind of space legislature that'll uh, be explored as we begin living in space more permanently. But if those laws do work out, Martian Americans should vote early. Transmission from Mars to Earth can take 20 minutes or longer. And if you want to show off your vote, better pack your own I Voted sticker ahead of time. One of the drawbacks about having to vote in space, you don't have to wait in line, but you don't get a sticker. 